Apparently, there's going to be five new iPhones coming this year and a new podcasting app coming to Mac. Let's get into it. But before we do, if you guys are new, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on because it really helps us out. Also, we are starting a monthly $500 giveaway. And if you wanna win, you have to do four things. One, be a subscriber. Two, like this video. Three, turn those post notifications on. And four, comment something that we can improve on in general along with the hashtag 365tech giveaway. Yes, the first winner will be selected this Friday. So make sure you do what we just said to do. Also, randomly throughout this video, you will see a $25 Amazon gift card code. So stay tuned for that too. Watch till the end. All right, let's get into it. Nathan, five phones. Mac Otakara, a Japanese blog site, put out a claim or a report that is very, very peculiar. Mm -hmm. They said, and this is how we interpret it, and this is how other companies have interpreted it, that they are gonna be releasing not three phones, but five phones in 2019. Yes. This is a bit suspicious. He claims that there will be two new OLED panels, one a 6.1 inch display and then a 6.5 inch display that will be featuring the triple lens setup on the back of it. So, so I guess that's the main difference between the regular successors, the, the 2018 successors and these two models is that triple lens setup. Is that, that's kind of, I guess, where they're going with it? Yeah, we mm -hmm. see we read it differently than how the other news sites reported it. They said there would be these two phones alongside of successors to the 10s, 10s Max, and 10R, which we don't believe is the case. But I feel like where they got this information from, and this was like nine to five Mac, they got this information from a line on Mac Otokara's blog, and mm -hmm. it said the 6.1 inch OLED model will be in between the 10s and 10R devices. Yes. So from that, I think they got five phones. Well, we're gonna be talking about the actual features of these two new rumored phones. So to start things off, the 6.1 inch display will be 0.15 millimeters thicker and have a camera decrease of 0.5 millimeters. Yeah, so Mac Otakara is saying that the overall thickness of the phones will be thicker, mm -hmm. just slightly. And then also the, the camera will be thinner. Yeah, that camera hump is annoying. So yeah, if you don't have a case, I mean, I rock a case. I kind of convinced him to start rocking a case because he has a case now. If you don't have a case, mm -hmm. it rocks quite it, a bit. It does, it does. And that's annoying. So Apple's getting around this or potentially getting around this by having a thicker device, but a smaller protruding part for the camera. Mm -hmm. This could also be for a larger battery size, which could feature that bilateral charging that you mentioned. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the iPhone XS, it's rumored that these successors are gonna have a, a battery bump to, like you said, have that bilateral charging capabilities. The iPhone XS is gonna have about 20 to 25 battery percent battery jump. Mm -hmm. The XS Max will have about a 10 to 15% battery jump. And the XR only about a 5% because it's already very, very efficient. Mm -hmm. Now, the 6.5 inch new phone will have a thickness increase of 0.4 millimeters and will have a camera decrease of 0.2 millimeters. So once again, larger battery, bilateral charging. The report also claims that along with these two new devices, the accessories that comes with it is a USB-C to lightning adapter, mm -hmm. as well as an 18 watt power, USB-C power adapter. Mm -hmm. This will be for fast charging, which is a nice touch, because this will be the first time that Apple features a quick charging brick with their iPhones. Yeah, usually iPhones take a long time to charge. The, especially with that rinky dinky like, USB charger, that thing that sucks. That little cube that you basically have to charge it all night to get a full charge. Yeah, it's not it's not the greatest. Now, we are seeing an increase in camera quality. You were saying earlier that they have the largest camera Yeah, sensor. so what Mac Otakara was saying is, so right now the largest lens on an iPhone is on the 10R. Yes. Mac Otakara is claiming that the lenses on these two new devices will be bigger than mm -hmm. any other iPhone before. So bigger than the 10S devices, 10R devices, I'm sorry, on that triple lens setup. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be massive. So along with that, it is also anticipated that the sensors will be as big as well. That'll be a very nice like, touch. They, that is huge. The like, 10R is a very good camera though. This, These two sense cameras are yes. already really big, but the 10R is bigger than this. If you have three of those, it's gonna mm -hmm. be like, a major portion of the back of the phone. Now, the 10R can do a lot of things with just one lens that takes two lenses on the iPhone S. So our good guy, Steve McFly over on Twitter, at OnLeaks, was the first person to come up with the triangle camera lens setup. And he said this past weekend that 
The triple lens setup will be brought to all three new iPhones for 2019. Yeah, previously, other rumors have mentioned, like Bloomberg and mm -hmm. Wall Street Journal have said that the triple lens could potentially only come to one, maybe two devices. But Steve is now saying that all devices, all 2019 devices, I think he's only referring to the three devices, Yes, will have the triple lens setup. So the 10S successor, 10S Max successor, and the 10R successor. I don't think this is the case. Well, the 10R is, is I guess, seen as Apple's budget phone yes, now, right? Yes, it is. Because they kind of got rid of the, the SE. They may be coming out with an SE2 or an, an, a 10E, mm -hmm. but a triple lens setup on the 10R, that is that would be, that would push the price a lot higher. It would. We believe that they will do something similar to Samsung where on the two flagship phones, the 10S and 10S Max successor, it will feature the triple lens setup, and then on the 10R, it'll just have the dual lens setup, which we see on the existing 10S. Steve McFly also mentioned that one way to differentiate the two between the OLED models and the LCD models would be that frosted glass backing Ooh, on right. the back of the 10S and the 10S Max. The new scratch magnet. Hopefully it's not a scratch magnet because mm. the Pixel 3, yes. people were complaining so much that it was, it was scratching. Hopefully Apple takes into consideration that and uses material that is scratch resistant. Hopefully. So five phones, what do you think? No, absolutely no. not. Just three? There's no way Apple's coming out with five phones. So you think the 10s and 10s successor will just be the triple lens cameras? I think so. I yes. think that's the more likely case. With the, the formation of what Steve McFly is saying, that the triangular triple. pattern. Yes. Yeah. How about you? I agree. I do agree. The five, no. No, 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 no. Now we're going to be talking about the brand new podcast and music app coming to Mac OS. Steve Trotton Smith, a developer, I don't think he works for Apple, but he's a developer who usually looks at Apple's code and kind of deciphers what could potentially come to Apple devices. He's saying that he's fairly confident, based on some unnamed sources, that iTunes will be split up for Mac OS into podcasts, music and movies, books. We're expecting a similar formation to what they have on their iOS software, where there are these designated apps, which are more easy to use than just yeah. the base iTunes on Mac. It's better, it's more user friendly. Yes, To click is. just iTunes and know you're going to music or click podcast and know you're gonna be listening. Have you to tried the iTunes app on Mac? I only use it to look up new audiobooks. It is so That's clumsy it. to use. It is, it is the toughest thing to use. So this will be a nice feature. We are expecting this because of the new TV app that they have brought over to Mac OS, mm -hmm. which is a really good app. Not only the TV app, but we noticed that on the last macOS update, some of the apps that were really tailored to iPhone or the iOS system, like Stocks, Home, Apple News, and even Voice Memos, are now integrated into macOS. Mm -hmm. So Apple is likely pushing a lot of those iOS apps into macOS. I think this would be a nice touch. They're expecting to release this at WWDC this year, which is on June the 3rd. So expect that to come. I think this would be a good move for Apple. Yes. Just. And in a sense, it's less clicks. Mm -hmm. Less clicks to get to things, and that's just easier for Apple users. And usually Apple is known for good user-friendly devices, and this will further establish that. I agree. Oh, wait, time out. Nathan, what is on the screen? I the, hit the table. The Amazon code is right here. Congratulations. So if wait, you're the first saying? one, yeah, okay. yeah. you get the code. Do it really quickly because somebody could be doing it as well. And don't, 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 don't be typing the code into the chat. Like, what is, what is? Yeah, don't do that. Like, that's just giving it away. Congrats. Yes, also, like we said at the beginning of the video, we are doing a monthly $500 giveaway. If you wanna win, we said at the beginning, but you have to do four things. Be a subscriber, like this video, turn those post notifications on, and comment something that we can improve on in general, along with the hashtag 365tech giveaway. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. That was good, that was really good.